So. All right, folks, we're back. We're working on the same heater here, right where we left off before. We got our new cover here. We got our new lines on there. We put our spark plug leads back. We put our new line to the filter. Remember, we ran it up straight to the nozzle. New air lines that are nice and tight. We found a broken air line. So now, we're going to try to fire this heater. This will be the first time that this heater has been fired in a long time, if it fires up. Might need to take a couple shots to get the fuel up there, but let's see what she does. Let me uh, go turn the fan on. Fans on. Cross your fingers, folks. Here we go. Fire! Okay, folks, now, what we got to do is make sure the heater fires. Poof, he's firing. We got to make sure it fires with the lid on it. Okay? And set it up proper like see what it does with the lid on it. Okay. So we've got the lid on it. We're not going to screw it down yet. Let's see if she fires with the lid on it. Here we go. Fire right up. BTU Interco product. We modified this heater. We saved the people a bunch of money on parts, and now they got their heater back. This heater's worth $380, $400. She looks like she's running pretty good. Let me uh, shut the lights on for you folks. BTU. Almost all the Heat Star products are the same inside the heater. They all have a lot of the same components. If you have problems finding parts for Heat Star, Enerco product heaters, Mr. Heater, or any other heater for that matter, contact me and I can get you the parts. Again, we're going to snap this together, put everything back together. You see it's been tweaked. She's run ready to go. Repaired right the first time. As usual, folks, thanks for watching. Try to give me the thumbs up if you can. And uh, have a wonderful day.